On average, Valley residents use about 70 to 90% of their water outside in a typical month. That means outdoors is where residents have the greatest potential to conserve water. Mandatory watering restrictions help our community conserve water and reduce water waste. While ordinances vary slightly by jurisdiction, water waste is broadly defined as water that flows or sprays off of your property. Common violations that may result in a water waste fee include watering outside of assigned watering days and violating time of day restrictions. Sprinkler watering is prohibited between 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. May 1st to August 31st. Sunday is not an optional watering day. Oftentimes, customers are unaware they're wasting water, but overwatering is an obvious water waster even to the untrained eye. Standing or pooling water can be seen, or water sheets off sidewalks and curbs when the turf and hard soil can't absorb the excess water fast enough. Overwatering is the result of applying too much water to your landscape. So what is the right amount? It all depends on the type of grass, root depth, degree of the slope, soil quality, sun exposure, and more. That may sound complicated, but to avoid overwatering, simply test your irrigation system. The Southern Nevada Water Authority recommends the cycle and soak method for lawns. Set your sprinklers to water three times a day, four minutes each cycle, at least one hour apart. These shorter sips of water are better for turf because the water absorbs faster and creates a healthier lawn. It also helps to keep water from flowing off the lawn and into the gutter where it cannot be recovered. Inspect your grass with the sprinklers running to see if it needs more or less water. To customize your watering cycles, Manually turn on your first sprinkler station and begin timing the run immediately. Monitor how many minutes elapse before water begins to pool or run off. Stop the cycle at that point and subtract a minute. That's your runtime for that station. Repeat the process for each station since run times may vary. Allow the water to fully soak in before running another cycle. This generally takes at least one hour. If dry spots crop up, hand water them instead of running sprinklers longer. To help your lawn absorb water, aerate at least twice a year in spring and fall. This process of punching out cores of soil allows water and nutrients to flow more completely into the root zone rather than off of it. Another common water waste issue is overspray. To isolate an overspray problem, test key components of your irrigation system. Sprinklers can easily twist or turn. Briefly turn on your irrigation system after each mowing. Adjust any misaligned sprinklers by turning with the firm grip of your hand or gently turn them with pliers. Improper nozzles are another cause of overspray. Sprinkler nozzles aren't one size fits all. They come in 45, 90, 180 degree and full circle spray patterns and may spray out 4 to 12 feet or more. Some are low angle, others are reduced water nozzles. If overspray leads to water waste, you may have the wrong nozzle for the size or shape of your turf area. Manufacturers indicate nozzle measurements by color, crosshatch patterns, or numerals and more. It can be confusing, so ask a pro if you're not sure what you need. For uniformity, it's best to stick with the same brand and not mix and match parts. The Water Authority recommends fixed pattern nozzles to deliver water more precisely to turf areas that are relatively squared off or standard in size. Adjustable or variable arc nozzles are handy for some problem spots, such as narrow or curved areas, but may not completely solve an overspray issue since water can't follow a curve. Consider multi-stream rotor heads, which elicit virtually no runoff or standing water and cover micro problem areas with easy arc and radius adjustments. The next common water waste problem is one property owner's dread, an irrigation leak. One indicator of a leak is an area of your landscape that's more green or wet and marshy than other areas. Many times a leak shows up more gradually as a slow but consistent trickle of water. It's often noticeable near the curb or street since this is typically a landscape's lowest point and that's where water gathers. A leak then trickles down into the gutter. Whether or not you can fix a leak yourself depends on your comfort level and willingness to literally dig into the problem. You may have to remove a fair-sized chunk of grass to get down into your system and find the source of the leak. You could have a broken sprinkler or perhaps a break in the irrigation line itself. If in doubt, you may want to call in a professional. When what looks like overwatering becomes non-stop watering, or a low-lying sprinkler head is chronically seeping water, the cause of the water waste could be a stuck valve. 
Normally, an irrigation valve opens when the system turns on and closes when the run cycle is complete. When a valve sticks in the open position, the system can run endlessly. A stuck valve can be caused by rocks, debris, or simply by age. Some valves last a few years, while others go strong for a decade or more. For immediate relief against a system that is wasting water nonstop, turn off the system at your backflow device until you can repair the faulty valve. Stuck or leaky valves usually need to be dismantled to clean out debris or replace worn parts. Obstructed spray patterns are another water waster. One common sight is a sprinkler that shoots onto a fence, a tree, or something other than the grass. The water is wasted. The solution might be as straightforward as installing a nozzle with a different reach, angle, or spray pattern. But spray obstruction is often the result of inappropriate design for that area, so you may need to change your design or relocate an irrigation line to resolve it. Low-lying sprinklers also can cause obstructed spray patterns. Water only hits a few nearby blades of grass instead of the entire irrigation zone intended for that sprinkler head. Retrofit existing sprinkler heads or install 4-inch tall pop-ups to effectively water the area. A poorly designed landscape can be another source of water waste. Narrow turf strips, curved turf areas, as well as grass on slopes are particular problems. Sprinklers often overshoot slopes or curves and water runs off. Solutions to a water-wasting landscape design range from simple to complex. Try removing turf from edges and replace it with shrubs or ground covers to buffer runoff. You can replace narrow or sloped areas entirely with water-smart landscaping watered by drip. You can also install subsurface irrigation that waters turf beneath the surface. If you plan to keep your lawn, then inspect sprinkler nozzles and replace if needed. A low precipitation nozzle may minimize waste. If you have a nozzle that sprays out 16 feet to water a 10-foot wide area, try changing it out for a smaller nozzle. Shorter sprinkler run cycles may reduce runoff, but if the design itself is still a problem, you won't eliminate waste. You may not have any of the water waste violations shown here, but if you are watering outside of your assigned days or during restricted times, you can be cited for water waste. Set your irrigation clock to water only on your assigned days. Remember, Sundays are not an optional watering day. Water before sunrise in summer to prevent water loss to evaporation and late day winds. In winter, water in mid-morning to prevent ice formation. Here are more tips to help avoid water waste. Get to know the basics of your irrigation clock. It may be time to replace an outdated clock with newer technology. The SNWA offers a rebate on smart irrigation clocks at snwa.com. Next, ensure your plants and trees are watered by drip irrigation. Their root systems thrive on deeper but less frequent watering. Finally, be aware that different areas of your yard may have varying water needs. Don't hesitate to adjust run times for each. For example, a north-facing landscape is often shaded and may need less water than areas exposed to the harsh afternoon sun. Improper turf watering is the greatest cause of water waste. Converting to a drought-tolerant landscape through the SNWA's Water Smart Landscapes Rebate Program is the best way to eliminate water waste. For more information about the rebate program, visit snwa.com. While you're there, look for more tips and free resources to help you be water smart. Or, Call the SNWA's Conservation Helpline at 702-258-SAVE. For specific information on water waste enforcement or ordinances in your community, contact your water provider directly.